Hey guys, Jay here. So I want to do um, a small video. Uh, shout out, thank you. Um, first, I want to say um, thank you to all my old subscribers. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Um, I've reached over um, 6,000 views. Um, so that's a pretty big milestone to me. So thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but this video is... Um, Dedicated to um, everyone who commented and uh, gave me support on my Rustler and Offna video. Um, I was able to um, fix uh, those problems this morning. Um, these guys pretty much nailed it. Um, as far as the Rustler goes, I just followed the directions in my Rustler manual here on how to reverse the servo. Um, so that worked out well. Um, I know Dan P was talking to me about cogging. I couldn't think of the name, but, um, yeah, he had mentioned, you know, um, about, you know, people kicking the back end to get the car going because it's geared so high. So, um, I had seen videos like that, but never knew why people were doing that, um, until it happened to me until... Uh, we had the conversation. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, um, gearing down will be an easy fix. So, this car is pretty much out of sick bay. Um, I'm calling this top shelf right here sick bay. Because um, <laughs> uh, that's where most of them ended up. Um, my offner there. Um, it was just a simple recalibration through the driver's ed guide. Um, just a quick, easy, easy step to recalibrate it. Again, I'm not really sure why it needed to be recalibrated. I don't know, um, you know, I don't know what caused it. Uh, maybe the last time I used it, maybe by accident, I shut off the transmitter and then shut off the ESC and that screwed things up. I don't know. But um, I had made the videos because um, I thought the problems were a lot more, I was overthinking it, and uh, I thought the problems were a lot more complex than what they were. Um, only because these cars are running this winter, um, not outside, but um, as far as the offner goes, um, that ran um, through to the fall, and um, pretty much the same thing for the Rustler, maybe September, um, I brought it into the house and just, you know, it sat on its, um, you know, car stand until I took it apart and um, re-greased and did a major overhaul to it. Um, so they both were running. Um, and nothing was wrong with servos or anything like that. So it was just kind of puzzling to um, go take these out in the spring. And have both of them on the same day break down. So kind of panicked a little. But um, lesson learned. Um, you know. But again I don't know what happened. But thank you. Thank you guys. And so here are the people who commented and lended support um to my videos and to my rc so thank you uh mumfordale one street dreams kimdra tinsley smith fpv vids david jackson joe schmo mtc tookie tojo rc budget guy rc enough for you rc performance studio dan p at ease one jam spec james johnson and dylan russell um, so thanks again guys um, you know you really helped me out um, so for my next project I have <laughs> I have another sick RC and then after this um, after this I'll have all RCs up and running hopefully so I mean if you saw this video um, the spur gear got torn up um, and rightfully so what I didn't um, remember when I was running the 3S in this, I didn't remember that this motor comes with a metal pinion on a plastic spur. <laughs> so yeah, 3S um, and plastic and metal is not a good combination. So um, that's kind of an easy fix. Um, I did have a problem um, with the motor shaking. Um, they say in these that um, the plastic is so sensitive 
these are the three screws for the motor mounts. Um, that the plastic is so sensitive that um, after a while it does strip out. Um, and man, I'll tell you, when it comes to tightening things down, I just, I go way too far. So, um, I try to be gentle with this RC, but, um, I think even being gentle, um, it's just, you know, the, pra the, pl uh, the plastic is just too weak. So, um, I went out and got, um, the motor mount. This is a one piece motor mount. I believe the one that is in the car um, there it is, yeah, one piece motor mount, I believe the one, the one in the car is a two piece, you have the, the plate, which is right here, and then underneath you have a plastic, whatever you want to call that, a plastic platform that holds the motor in there, and, um, it's not socking upright, so we're going to throw a little thread block around these screws here, and, um, let that dry and um and then i've got let's see i got a aluminum gear for this um i'd rather have metal to metal than metal to plastic so um again won't be running 3s in this um lesson learned so pretty damn happy that all these rcs are getting fixed um then maybe i can get on to um this mess over here um, the problem with this is my soldering skills um, I don't think she's gonna sit right but um, so I had bought a new motor and everything and uh, I'm still learning how to solder and everything so um, the last soldering job it didn't really uh, it didn't really come out too well um, I know the basics and stuff um, but for some reason, um, for some reason, I don't know, um, I'm doing something wrong, so I'm going to have to, uh, watch some more videos. Um, but basically this car is all ready to go, except for, um, except for, uh, you know, soldering up the motor and the ESC, which, um, it's not going to be too easy because the ESC I got was a Tekken. Um, I can't even remember the name of it, but, um, let's see if I can find it really quick. There's part of the wires for it. There's the motor. That's the motor. Tekken T35. I'll show you the ESC if I can find it here quickly. Should be in here. Here we go. So, I was reluctant to buy this setup because of not being so good at soldering. But, let's see. Yeah, so I mean, you've got to put wires in those little tiny tabs. And on top of that, you've got to solder a capacitor in there, which is right there um so i wouldn't even call myself a novice solder i've soldered up some um i've soldered up some escs and battery connectors and stuff like that but um this is a little bit more involved um but hopefully i'll be able to to uh get through it um it's a pretty cool system um and then uh, I'd be very happy to get this back up on the road. This happens to be like um, one of my favorite RCs. This is the, um, if you can't recognize it, it's uh, it's my ax Axial Wraith. And it's one of, you know, the best RCs I own because I like the fact that it can go anywhere. Um, so hopefully I can get this one done. Actually, maybe I should... Put it in sick bag <laughs> so that uh you know after i get sick of looking at it maybe i'll get brave enough and solder all the wires yeah that's that's the whole thing is being brave enough to um to solder it up 
Um, it seems like the track power, from what I understand, has a good reputation as far as, um, you know, being a good soldering machine. But um, I'm still learning. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope everyone's having a good day. Take care, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.